Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, madame. I'm afraid we are close. No, it's quite all right. I've just come to see my daughter, Mrs. Kerbridge. Oh. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. Thank you so much. Elizabeth, who does this shop belong to? Why do you want to know that? Because I do. Your father and I have heard a rumour. Oh, it's that Descort woman, I might have guessed. I don't happen to like or trust or believe Mrs Descort. But you listened to her gossip. I had no choice, and all the rest of London in a few days. This shop belongs to Mr Julius Karakin. And I am his mistress. Or, as Mrs. Descort might have put it, his kept woman, as she was before me. But I expect you've guessed all that already. Because you don't know him, you think he's a common little foreign upstart businessman and dishonest at that. Because I know him, I can tell you that he's funny and intelligent and generous and as much of a gentleman as any of your friends and... And I've never been so happy in my life. I knew that you and father wouldn't approve of him. That's why I didn't tell you about it. Look, you better come inside. Oh, don't worry, mother. You needn't look over your shoulder. He's not about to pounce on you from the shadows. He's not coming this evening. He's got a dinner or something. Didn't you see? He's just a climber. He's using you. Of course. I'm using him. We're very frank about it. You can never marry him, darling. No, that's a definite asset in both our eyes. Don't you see what damage it will do? Oh, you mean to you, to the family escutcheon. I should have thought that after all my previous misdemeanors, there was hardly a square inch left for me to blot. Or is it then? Oh, Elizabeth, please be serious. It's yourself you're damaging, your whole future. You'll become an outcast. You'll lose all your friends. Perhaps I shall discover who my real friends are. You won't be received in society. You won't be able to go anywhere ever again. Oh, if you mean set my foot on the squadron lawn or strut about like a bedraggled peahen in the royal enclosure at Ascot, I shall be delighted. Of course I didn't mean And the thought of spending endless weekends making polite conversation with the hunters and shooters makes me positively groan with boredom. But darling, if you ever wanted to get married again... You've just said it, Mother. I'm unmarriageable. By an unfortunate accident, I have a child by another man, and my husband knows about it. While we keep his mouth shut with a comfortable pension, do you think Lawrence is going to give me grounds to divorce? Why should he? And if I ask him to divorce me, I would be just as much a scarlet woman as I am now. The only hope of getting free seems to be to go out and shoot him. Oh, Lawrence's head would make a nice trophy. I wonder how many points he had. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, don't you see, Mother? I'm trapped. Do you want me to sit at home forever and wither away till I'm a bitter old maid like Princess Victoria? It's all so unfair. If I were a man, it wouldn't matter a bit. Uncle Hugo spent his whole life seducing every woman in sight, and everyone thinks he's a hell of a fellow. I get pilloried because I go to bed with a man that I like very much. I know, but you should try to, to discipline yourself, darling. Hundreds of women are in the same position. They're miserable. I'm happy. Anyway, perhaps they don't feel as I do. Why doesn't somebody... Tell girls about their bodies. You learn about that sort of thing naturally when you're married. Advice to an English maiden on her marriage bed? Shut your eyes, grit your teeth, and rule Britannia. Don't be vulgar. I didn't learn anything on my marriage bed. I know, darling. Your father and I know what you've been through, and of course we want you to be happy. But this is just a, it's a silly infatuation. You're so much more... Beautiful and I am not attractive. Haven't you ever had an infatuation? I've never given way to a mere indulgence. 
Was Captain Hammond not a mere indulgence? What earth do you know about Captain Hammond? Rose told me. She didn't mean to. It was just an accident. It just slipped out. And it wasn't just Rose. All the servants knew. Don't you see? We're the same sort of people, really. I'm not very proud of my friendship with Charles Hammond. But I stopped in time. I realized what a lot I had to lose. I have nothing to lose that I care about. Your self-respect. I think I've gained that. I never let it become a scandal. I, I stuck to the rules. Oh, your rules. What hypocrisy. So long as nobody knows about it, it's all right. That's just what Charles said. Did he? I'd like to have met him. He's dead. You were lucky you had such loyal servants and such a devoted husband. Your father doesn't know about it. He must never know. Oh, I won't tell him. But I bet he did know. Father's deep. He doesn't miss much. But he'd never do anything to hurt you. I know. Elizabeth, do something for me. I've, I've brought the car with me. Come home with me. If you will receive Julius, give him a chance. No, not in any circumstances. It wouldn't... It wouldn't do, darling. You'd best wash your hands of me, Mother. You'd be much happier. 